There you go. Niche shelves installed. Top, middle, and the bottom. I'll have to, uh, ugh, stupid drywall. I'll have to go back in and patch all that up. What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. I was finally able to get a haircut so now I don't look like such a shaggy dog anymore. I have actually gotten a lot of the basement cleaned up. Let me show you. Coming through the hallway here. This used to be covered with wood and miscellaneous cuts of things. I've basically cleaned all of it up, got it all shot backed up. Everything's clean and mostly tidy for the most part. I do have a little bit of uh, an area over here where I still need to keep some material. I still have to do the baseboard in the bathroom. This wood is actually going to be for today's project, so I'll go over that in a second. And then just, those are some leftover tools and stuff. Still got my cut table and everything set up over here because I still need to use it. And that set of wood is actually for today's project. So what's today's project? I'm gonna be building shelves in this niche. Three of them. I already have the area set out. My wife and I came through and did some measuring. We have one, two, three floating shelves that are gonna go in here. This is, the, this is roughly the uh, spots for them. So I've never built shelves before. Um, so <laughs> I have no idea how these are gonna turn out. But seeing as how everything else I've built down here has actually turned out pretty nicely, I'm expecting these shelves to also turn out pretty nicely. So let's see how it goes. We're gonna, I'm gonna build one first. Hopefully it goes well and then I'll build the other two. And then I actually do have, this is actually the first set of shelves here, but I'm actually gonna build four additional floating shelves that are gonna go over the bar if this thing will focus. Now it's focused. Yeah, one, two, three, four. So I'll have shelves over the bar as well. I got my fridge turned on, in case you're curious about it. 37 on that side, 50 on that side. I haven't stocked it yet. It's pretty quiet. So I'm happy about that. There was a couple reviews online that said that this, the, there was a couple reviews online that said that that refrigerator was pretty loud. I think it's everybody's opinion. My wife actually says, oh, that fridge is loud. And I came down and was like, oh, the fridge is pretty quiet. So, oh, depends on when I guess your perspective. Anyway, let's jump into the video, start building some shelves. All right, I got everything set up now. I'm starting to work. By the way, pretty much, I would say the second best tool that I have bought from this whole thing has been this laser and this stand. Set up your laser on your stand, get it pointed where you want, have it actually measured out. I've got a little tick mark on here. I've got the, the laser put it right, I got the laser put right on that mark. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna draw the line across the top of this where this laser mark is all the way around. That is gonna be where the floating shelf, the support is gonna be nailed in or screwed in to the wall. And then from there, I'm going to take my measurements between the shelves. So I'll measure it up from each one of these. I'll put the laser line on those. And then that way, I'll have everything marked out exactly like it needs to be. So let me go ahead and do that and then I'll show you the results there at the end. All right, I have, I'm on my last set of markings here. Got the first one. This is the middle one and the bottom one. So those ones are all traced out all the way around on the uh, inside of this, as you can see. The third one was actually a little bit too tall for this. <clears throat> this top shelf laser point was a little bit too tall actually for my tripod. So I went and got some paint cans and I stuck the paint cans underneath and that actually gave me the last little bit of height that I need for that. So I'm gonna finish that, I'm gonna use my square I'm gonna trace that line. Once I get those lines painted, or once I get the lines drawn up there, I'm gonna go and cut some, uh, uh, the actual shelf pieces. Whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna go cut a couple of pieces so that way I'll be able to build the shelves around it. Go! All right, so for my next steps here, I got all my studs marked out as well now. So now I know where the studs are laid out. I got my three pieces for the back wall. So I'm gonna put in one, two, Three, those three pieces are now cut. I got my handy dandy saw, saw, what am I, I can't even freaking talk. I got my drill, the drill is a one eighths bit. 
and I am using these number 10 by 3 inch screws. So I'm just going to pre-drill into where the studs are and then I'm going to mount all these bits. Or mount, then I'm going to mount all three of these pieces of wood here. Alright, I've got the three pieces mounted in here horizontally for the back. So now I've got my next sets of pieces cut here. They're going to go on either sides of the wall. Um, you can see now I've got these set up where the top of this line meets. And then I'm going to do the same thing out to here. I got the studs marked on these as well. And then I'll just get these all set now. Pre-drill holes so you don't split the wood. And then set them with these three inch screws. Should be good to go. All right, I have now gotten all the pieces installed here. This is the top shelf, middle shelf, and bottom shelf. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take some measurements and try and cut a piece of wood. One thing I've noticed is this wall and this wall are very straight. This side of the wall bows in just a little bit at the very back, so the front part's pretty straight, but back here is actually in just a little bit. So what that's going to mean is uh, I'm going to have to take extra care on this side, getting the measurement perfect. That way it, uh, it doesn't look funny when I actually fit it up against the wall. Anyway, wish me luck. Hopefully I don't mess it up. Let's keep going. Alright, I got my first shelf cut and sanded to kind of fit in there. This is just holding up, being held on with tape at the moment. I haven't actually fired up the compressor to get it uh, brad nailed in. That is kind of how it's going to look. I think that'll look nice when it's all done. I'm going to have to sand it and then um, put some urethane on it and then refit this thing back in. But that's kind of what it's going to look like. That'll be the first one. I'll have to build two more and then that way it'll be all set in there. It'll be looking nice when it's all done. I'm going to do the same thing over here. I've actually started. So I'm actually starting now to uh, put the laser lines on the wall. So I'm going to have a, a, a line for both, both shelves. And then I'm going to set up another line for these shelves as well. Woo! It's getting real. Getting closer now. What's up everybody? It's another day. I can't remember where I left off filming from the last time, so I'll just catch everybody up to what I've been doing today. I've been getting this I've been getting this second shelf fitted here, top and bottom. This has been a huge pain in the backside. Lots of sanding, lots of cutting and measuring, but I think I'm actually at a point. Lots of freaking gouge in the wall here. That really sucks, but anyway, here we go. So I think this middle shelf is done. I just test fitted this front plate here where you can see me actually putting this in. Right, and it'll sit up there like that. And then you'll have a floating shelf top and bottom and it'll look nice. So these are the project boards that I'm using. They're three quarters of an inch by two feet by four feet. I bought them at Lowe's. Uh, what you can see me doing here is I'm actually laying these boards out and then I'm tracing on to them the pattern so that I can cut them out um, using the straight edge. I'm drawing the line so that way I can use my circular saw to actually cut them straight down the lines that I'm tracing out here. So what you see now is me using the circular saw. Uh, it actually puts a really straight edge. Here's a test fit for the bottom side of the top shelves. I use these clamps to hold it into place so I can make sure that it fits okay. So now I'm actually test fitting the front piece and that's mainly to just make sure that those two boards are actually level with each other so I, if I need to do any sanding I can. And then I get to doing all the sanding, sanding all edges of the boards, um, lots of extra elbow grease here. Alright, almost there. Top and bottom shelves on these sides are done. So you can see they're floating. Like that. Now I just have to put the face plates on. I'm going to use my brad nail gun for that. And then uh, this will be pretty much finished. Then I'll have to actually go back in and repair the pieces of the wall that I damaged, which unfortunately was a, quite a bit. Uh, that's alright. More drywall work to add to the list. I'll fix all that. It'll look nice when I'm all finished though. Then when that's done, I'm actually going to work on these shelves back here. Wallpaper, shelves. 
I've never done wallpaper before. Hopefully I don't mess that up. All right, let's go. So the very last bit is actually getting the face plates attached. I'm using a brad nailer here and then um, just holding those pieces, just putting the face plates in and then actually putting the brad nails in so that the floating shelves will be completed. That sucks. That means I need to clip those off and sand it down. Ugh! That makes me angry. Dang! Anyway, otherwise it looks pretty good. Floating shelf. Niche shelves installed. Top. Middle. And the bottom. I'll have to, uh, ugh, stupid drywall. I'll have to go back in and patch all that up. But yeah, look at there. Looks nice. Shelves are finished there. I need to just actually finish touching them up and get that wall painted and then actually I get the wall painted and then I need to finish um, putting the sealer on there and uh, then I'll be done. But I won't bore you with going through all that steps. Floating shelves, there you go. If you want to try some at home, give it a shot. I've never done anything like this before, but it, I think it turned out pretty nice. Um, total amounts. Each one of these shelves, unfortunately, was fairly expensive. I had to buy one, two, three, four, five, six shelves, or six pieces of board. Each one of them was about $35. So that's, even, I mean, it, even though that's fairly expensive, um, if you had to pay someone to do this for you, it'd probably cost you even more. So anyway, give it a shot at home. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.